Gulp, 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 gulp. All right, we're back with Silent Hill 2 Remake. We got the key to this door. And what do we find on the other side? Can I move this? Okay, I can move this around. All right, up we go. Over here. Uh-huh. Now, why did we do that? Thank you. Hope these health drinks never expire. Nothing worse than chugging down an expired health drink. You can tell by the taste. He came back after you left. It's fine. He didn't try anything. He just seemed sad. Mumbled something about getting out of town with someone. I wasn't going to let him drive in his condition, so I locked him out. His car should be out back. Maybe check to see if it's still there by morning. It's the greenish-blue one, plate number ending with 06, I think. Okay. Want to find someone's car? It's not, that's not, it's green, it's not green-blue. And this doesn't end with 06. What does that say? Oh, Gozo Sushi. Well, it's 2-6. I got a health drink, though, in it. Can we find just find things in cars? Ah, uh, that's an 06. Should I be checking out this car? It does say 06. And the color could be described as greenish-bluish. Still, James is not doing anything with this car. Oh, the, hold on, down here. S something. Oh, this is a cutscene. Hey, we got the Woodside Apartments key. We did it. Oh, we stepped into some gang turf. It's getting windy around here. Oh, they're coming out of the stores. Let's see. Okay, Woodside Apartments. Oh, I guess we want to turn... Keep turning. We did it. We made it to the apartments. 
got an achievement for doing that. And here's a map. An email? Doesn't seem like it. Mm-hmm. Handgun ammo. Why would we need something like that? Ta-da! Alright, we found the coin table quite early this time in the in the remake, but we don't have the coins. It look I think that is the same riddle. But we need three coins to open that up. Mary? No items. Ah, yes. Our good friend, the chest-mounted flashlight. Thank you. Hello. I'm tr I need to press R3 to toggle the flashlight. You're interrupting the tutorial. For the shoot. These clothes look so familiar somehow. Well, at least we can see. <laughs> no, nope, not that one. Third floor off limits. Heavy Viper. ACLT. Well, can't go that way. Mm-hmm. 
No, this one's not locked. This one is just... You can't open that. Dear Madam, in response to your complaint regarding the gunshots coming from apartment 217, we have paid a visit to the tenant and he assured us that he has not owned any firearms. He was fully cooperative and granted us access to the apartment. True to his words, we did not find any weapons or traces of using one. Should the noises persist, please inform the janitor. Sincerely, Woodside Apartments Administration. Hmm. Room 217. Well, why would we go there? He doesn't own any guns. He said he didn't. Finger leaning on the R trigger. Oh yeah, that's this one was locked. Right, yeah. That's why we couldn't we didn't find room two one seven. This was the way in. No guns to be found in this apartment building that has bullets lying around everywhere. No. That just goes back up the way we came. This door was not openable. That's the way, and we were in here. Just to make sure. There wasn't anything else in here, was there? Yeah, there's a coin box. Might as well save. So what haven't we done yet? What's like according to the map? Okay, the key is for this one. Warning, garbage shoot out of order. Please do not use until the problem is solved. What is the problem? <clears throat> is it jammed with something? Before we go in there, let's take a look around. Locaine siblings murder, perpetrator commits suicide in custody. Walter Sullivan, the culprit in a recent homicide case, was found dead having taken his own life on the morning of the 22nd in his jail cell. According to the police statement, Sullivan's death was caused by blood loss resulting by the severing his carotid artery with a soup spoon buried two inches in his neck. Sullivan was apprehended on the 18th of this month on account of brutally murdering Billy and Miriam Locaine. 
even though Walter Sullivan did not strike a former schoolmate from his hometown as Pleasant River as someone capable of murdering children. The schoolmate admits to having witnessed Sullivan in a state of severe paranoia shortly before his arrest. Ah, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me! He's trying to punish me! The monster! The red devil! Forgive me! I did it, but it wasn't me! He recounts, I guess now that I think of it, he was kinda crazy. The schoolmate concludes, Ah, Walter. Of course, we already have played Silent Hill 4. Until they remake that one! I mean, who knows? I mean, even though Silent Hill 4 is available on GOG, so it's easy to get, I feel, you know, wider audiences need to be exposed to the story of Walter and his mom, The Apartment. You never know. Try to open locked doors 50 times. Got an achievement for that. Ow. Hey. Hey! I should probably give myself one of these. So, I mean, we can clearly see from the combat we've seen so far, monsters are much more aggressive than they were in the original. Whereas in uh, Silent Hill 2, and a good, uh, yeah, a good number of Silent Hills, you can just run around the enemies... Uh, in this one, the enemies really want you to engage with them. Oh, can we see the names of any books? I guess I can't zoom in, unfortunately. So, no. Alright, anything else in here? goes back out to the courtyard. Oh, hey, a key behind some bars, you say? I'll just stick out my hand and nothing bad will happen. She didn't have to stomp on the hand. What is a kid doing here? They didn't have to stomp on my hand. Kicking the key away would be enough. Oh, this is the one I came from. Oh, 
guess it was here. And this is the end of the hallway. So where should we look? have any new items, I don't think. Definitely Mary's handwriting. Ah, Mary. I wonder if anything ever appears on the back of this. So which direction do we want to go now? I mean, it's really only one direction that we went. It went there, there wasn't another way to go, was there? <sighs> and there wasn't... Oh, okay. It was looking, the map was saying there was another stairs. It's up there. Yeah, the fire escape. That's why the map's saying there are stairs there. I guess I guess that's why it's saying that. I'm standing right where it says there's stairs. All right, so we got to Laura. She kicked the key. We did check the door. That one to our right is locked. think we have anything we can use to lock to unlock any of these other key other doors was this closed before hello Valentine's Day four. So much vomit. <laughs> Let's see, anything else to look at in here?
No. Let's see. Is there really only the one door in here? Go, 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 go. Let's see. 102. It's, it looks like 102 is the only room here I can go in. It doesn't look like there's even a door to 103. All right. It didn't seem like there was really anything in here, though. So what am I... Oh, I got I got a photo, that's right. Uh, not that. Strange photo. One of these strange photos I found. Valentine's Day. And if we investigate it, there is... Number four on the back. How much does that help us right now, though? I'm not sure. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. We can't go in 101. So is there actually nothing else in this hallway? The reason I'm a bit surprised about it is because I'm pretty sure this was clo this gate was closed when I first got in here. And then when I came back, this was open. So I thought there probably would be like a key in there or something. So, f second floor. Well, maybe something... Maybe something else is open now. This is still locked. I still don't have the key to open that. So, we were... 201 is locked. 202, we did get in. Is 201 still locked? Probably. Third floor, still closed. Fourth floor, I assume, still has stuff in front of it. Yeah, still does. Do you have a map for... No, I don't. Third floor does have a map. We just can't get in that door. Hmm... has changed around here. Oh, this is the door to 103. But that's still closed. And again, that's the entrance. And this... Oh, have I not actually gone down here yet? Okay, that one 
options open. And more bars. Oh, this is where the key was. And this is open. Uh, let's see. So we could go in there. We could go... There's two doors that we could go in. I guess let's go in this one. Mm-hmm. Do we play the piano? Someone's child drew a picture of a, of a of a rabbit that they want to show you. Either now or in the far off future in space. At any time, someone could come out, come up to you, and tell you that they want to show you a picture of a bunny. You never know when it's going to happen. Could be here. Could be when you're on a space station that's falling into the sun. You just don't know. Well, someone here clearly was a music lover, collecting their vinyls. Not sure what we want from this, though. I don't think we can interact with the piano itself. And maybe just maybe we'll just remember that that's there. I feel that window should be breakable. Mm -hmm. Golden apple handle. Well, I guess we have not seen what that's for yet. Something's gonna need a doorknob? Oh, is he still going? Eh, maybe not. Was there anything in here? Hmm? No, maybe not.
Uh, maybe that's it for this piece of hallway. We did get the um, uh, key items. Broken off a wardrobe, maybe a handle somewhere else. Key to the hallway on the second floor. So I guess let's head off to the second floor. So, I think it was 217 that had the gun owner. Huh. No, that's closed. room is this? It's just sort of a... Is it a closet? Oh, it's like a laundry room. With a... Maybe something we could drop down that, possibly. Hmm. If only we had something heavy we could drop down that. That's an... Like some expired juice. We're building emergencies. Call that number. Yeah, I gotta call that number and let them know. Got a key item in the garbage chute. Does someone please have some juice? wondering why James is doing that. It's because he is uh, a reseller of TVs. He's anticipating the boom market for CRTs, and he's trying to artificially raise the price by getting rid of supply. He's a scumbag that way. Mm, marks on the wall. Like something slid across it. Let's go through here. And that takes us... Alright, to this side of the hallway. Due to the ongoing renovation works, tenants are asked to keep out of the third floor of the building. Yep. Yeah, that door's closed. Hmm. Something that could open a padlock. I mean, usually a key might open a padlock. But, you know, like a sledgehammer could do it. Now, oh, here's 217. Yeah, no gunfire heard in this room. No evidence in the room to suggest that something, uh, that there might be a gun in here. I mean, there's not going to be now. Is there a quick way to switch weapons? I'm just pressing buttons right now to see if any of them do like a quick switch. 
Okay, yeah, just pressing R without holding L first will bring out... We'll bring that out. I think we got everything here. We have not... Well, I'll just take another look around just in case. We have not seen whatever it is, this uh, this handle. We have not seen a thing that needs a handle, I don't think. It's the only other key item that I have at the moment. Ah! What was that noise? Did he mark down where that noise was? Oh, it was right here. Two and two. Sturdy TV. <laughs> Alright, so it's 212. And that is. That's what we picked up, right? Yeah, 212. These fire escapes are not very sturdy, as we have seen. We probably should not spend too much time out on them. Let's put this in 210. on the other side of this. That's a lot easier when they're on the floor.
And we could go up. Oh, what's this? Okay, that's why there are stairs on the map. We can drop that. Well, maybe we could go up to the third floor from here. But first, let's take a look down here. Welcome home. Oh, there's one of these here as well. Alright, I'm gonna have to inject myself. Doesn't seem like the stomp is absolutely necessary. There we go. Ah, maybe this needs something. Oh, what's this? You must think I'm cruel, but this prison is of your own making. The choice was yours. I watched you make it over and over and over again. This time is not going to be any different, and I'll be here, watching. Well, that's not true. There could be very different endings based on based on how you uh, decide to handle things. It's not always the same thing. All right, let's put that in there. Peephole to to something. All right, why do we want to look in there? Well, I guess it must be important. Because we needed to get that, uh, that handle to make that happen. Oh, okay. Is that James's clue that there's something behind this? Alright. Right where the rooftops pierce through the night, left the homebound footprints with no owner in sight. But he has found home, oh, please pray tell. On a river of memories leading right into his hell. Alright, need a combination. Anything else in the room? No items. All right. Whoop. So, right where... So, it's right, left, right. Right where rooftops pierce through the night. Left our homebound footprints with no owner in sight. But he has found home, oh, please pray tell, or a river of memories leading right to his hell. Um, I don't know. Homebound rooftops pierce through the night. Oh, are these like, all right, there are things that gl have a special glow. All right, so the footprints are seven. Hold on, let me, uh, let me just make a note of that. 
So, the footprints... ...are seven. So that's gonna be the second number. So I'm looking for rooftops piercing through the night. Well, there's an 11. I guess that's a river. I'll just type that down. River is 11. So that's going to be number four, I guess. Anything else that... Oh, there we go. Homebound rooftops are 13. So that should be the first number. The, th the third one says, but has he found home? Has he? So we found rooftops, footprints, and river. And the one we haven't found is home. I wonder what this is. On both sides of the wall. Not seeing another thing that's showing up in the light like that. Oh wait, no, no, that's that's rooftops. We already saw that one. Rooftops were already seen. I don't know if it would be part of it, but uh, we also did get this photo. I had a four on the back of it, but it says Valentine's Day and it shows flowers, and that doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like it relates to this. Has he found home? Oh, please pray tell. Or maybe it could be three numbers, because the first one says, uh, right rooftops so right th uh, 13 the second one says left footprints so left seven and then but has he found home maybe he hasn't but has he found a river of memories which would be 11 i mean maybe if it's maybe it's only three numbers So we could try it. Nope. Well, I mean, I went past it. Okay, yeah, it was only three numbers. That's a that is a big coin. These coins are big boys. Chonky boys.
Coin Man. And Steel Key. Alright, maybe that's what maybe this is what the steel key is for. No, we can't interact with that. Is there a cockroach? Well, I hear one, but I don't see one. Alright, so we're... We just came out of there. Can we get into 205? Yeah, 205 is open. Small st hey, small staircase key. Before we go back out, was there anything else we could do in this hallway? We could open that, which connects it back to the rest of the second floor. But the, uh, small staircase. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, and that goes to that. Alright, small staircase. Okay, that went up there. Pardon, sir. Pardon. Yep, oh, it's, it's this one. Is it this one? This one. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Well, we could go down from here. Where does that take us? To some ammo is where it takes us. Okay, we've not been on this part of the first floor. I uh, hear someone coughing up a lung. Is it our favorite baby boy? With an upset tummy? Oh, there's a dead body in the fridge. Who could have done this? Who, I ask you? Hey, who's there? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, I swear. Hey, are you okay? I didn't do anything. He was like that when I got here. Oh, you mean the man back there? In the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill him. Yeah, it's all right. I'm, I'm not saying that you did. Look, my name is James. James Sunderland. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, okay. So, uh, do you live here, Eddie? No. I'm not even from this town. It's just... Something brought you here. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I... Well, they came at me. I didn't know what to do, so I ran. I came here. Figured it might be safe, but, but then I found the guy in the fridge. Easy, deal. Deep breaths. <sighs> Look, this place, it, it's not safe. These things and this whole town, there's something wrong with it. It might be best if you just get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you want to come with? 
Maybe together we can find a way out of this town. Oh, sorry, but I can't leave. Not yet. I... I need to find someone. Oh. And uh, Eddie, be careful. Yeah, you too. I'll just leave you to your vomiting. Can we talk to him again? Eddie, are you going to be okay? Yeah, I guess. Well, Eddie says he didn't do it. Who am I not to believe him? The body was just like that when he got here. Ah, the pool area. <laughs> I guess you can knock him down if you get him by surprise. I think I have any healing I'd- oh, no, I do have a health drink. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Alright. Speaking of puking, there's a whole lot of puking happening down there. Can I jump in there? Okay, I can jump in there. Spell your coin. All right, well, that's two out of three. We know where the last one is. It's in the trash. But we need a heavy object. Okay, we got Coin Snake and Coin Man. Um... Alright, so if we got these two... What else would be have opened up to us at this point? Hmm. Did I not try to get into 117? I don't know if you can get into 117. And it looks like maybe I didn't try to open that door. Well, the door across from here does not open. Unless, can you unlock it from the other side? Maybe I didn't try that. Okay, maybe try unlocking that from the other side. Actually, did I even go, did I even try going up to the third floor? No, I don't think I tried that yet. I went back down to the first floor to see the rooms I didn't go in yet. But there's an entire third floor I don't think I've even been to. Well, I guess I can't. James, j he just can't. He just can't. It's too much. It's a it's a mental barrier. You understand? It's psychological. He just can't bring himself to do it. <laughs> So, let's head up to the stairs. Excuse you.
All right, so let's see. Oh, yeah. That way is blocked. So we have to go in through one of the rooms. Pardon me. That doesn't matter. Um, oh, did I turn around? Oh, yeah, that does open. Never mind, it does. can't go up to the fourth floor. Alright, so third floor, completely unexplored. slide on through that, it looks like. Yeah, I see you there. You're not being, you're not hiding. Yeah, you too. Let's see. I guess I need to explore over there. Well, well, just what we needed. Oh, yeah. Daddy, daddy needed his medicine. A 
glug 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 glug. I was wrong, wrong, wrong. No, I wasn't. But I wasn't entirely right. I need to peel off more. Something more blood close. Almost wrong, but not, not entirely wrong. Uh, let's see. I guess we do have to go back. Like, was the whole... That whole little path get to get that note? I don't see another way out of 312. So, was that the entire reason we did that? To get the note? There's a big hole right here. I know there's something here. I know. I can feel it. It all looks normal, but it's not. It's underneath, pulsing, trying to get out. Is it trying to get out? Or should I get in? I have to uncover it. Rip it to the surface. That's right, we gotta get in there. Oh, there were two in here. Oh, there are three in here. Yep, out of out of the stuff. Let's see. One's locked. Uh, nothing. Okay, I guess we do take that path. Because this is all blocked off. Yeah, I don't have any additional key items. Alright, maybe I missed something. It does seem strange, the idea that you would go down this path of broken walls, and then there is just not really anything there. You can crawl through that. And I guess I guess I just figured that that was too small to do that. <laughs> Bloody apple. The only thing that could possibly uh, unclog the trash chute. Can juice. Down you go.
All right, that's out. That's not out in front. There was a dumpster out in front, but that's not what that looked like. Do we have to find our way out back? This, okay, this takes us out here. So, yeah, I guess now we just go back down. We can save. We're not in a good condition, but I might as well save. Okay, so that dumpster, where would we find it? Oh, it's this one. It rolled out somewhere? Oh, there it is. Coin woman. All right, so we got these, which means that we can now do the desk puzzle. All right, so three bright coins in the five holes B. First sits the maiden underneath the tree. The wind from behind the maiden doth blow. A beautiful flower alone has to grow. And here comes the man so sleek and so fine. In the pale moonlight his eyes doth shine. All right, how did this go? So first sits the maiden underneath the tree. The wind from behind the maiden blow. Beautiful flower alone has to grow. Here come the man, sleek and fine. Pale moonlight is shine. All right. Um. In the moonlight? So we see the moon. Does the man go underneath the moon? It says, first is woman. Wind. So, nothing behind the woman. Doesn't mention the serpent, does it? Let's see. The one at the top. Top middle. Um... Well, actually, I mean, I guess in the upper left is moon, upper right is sun. In the pale moonlight. So, would the woman be under the sun? Oh, underneath the tree. So, woman made an underneath tree. Then wind from behind is blowing. Man is in the moonlight. Oh, yeah, they have two sides, don't they? What's on the other side of that? Oh, no, I didn't mean read. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I don't know what. Is that a. Uh, the, it's a flower. It's a flower, is what that is. 
Okay. The man doth approach, his blade now revealed, his face disappears behind shining steel. Away from the man doth the maiden flee, towards the flower, away from the tree. So man turns to knife. Man turns to knife. Where once grew a flower, a venomous glee, where once was a maiden, a stone doth be. And over her grave the man doth remain, his blade never met the vile serpent's vein. Okay, where once was a flower, uh, venomous, so let's turn, make that snake. Where once was maiden is stone, and over her grave the man remains. The beast to its teeth in her flesh doth bore. He who has failed, she who is no more. Now unto you falls a grievous chore. Who carries blame for what fate had store? Or is this the shattered memories puzzle? Not a puzzle, but uh, which one do you blame for the death? Um, beast to in its teeth. Her flesh doth bore. He who has failed, she who is no more. Who carries blame? Oh, the one on top. Alright, I guess Snake is to blame. We got key. Apartment 201. Looking for Apartment 201. Health, some health drink. Glug, glug, glug.
Woo, it's everyone's favorite oddly-headed man. We all love the man with the big metal head. Handkerchief. There, I guess we're taking that. It's personal. A stained handkerchief feels very familiar. Hmm. Oh, can't break that one. Enter the other world for the first time. Well, that's different. Or, uh, is there an other world version of the apartments? Instead of just going into a different building altogether? Creek Apartments. All right, so that seems like it is a it is a different building. I guess they can do that when they die. Press R2 to break a wall. Even in the other world, our TV's safe from James Sunderland. Cookie! New price? Is, it, is that a good thing? Is it a lower price? Not interested in paying a higher price for Cookie.
I like the animation of he quickly pulls his map out and writes on it. Just making sure that he remembers that door is locked. Oh, health drink. And I'm not even near death. Uh-huh. Uh, we gotta find the hands, don't we? Yeah, we do. Henry fears Scott. He'll run from him and hide. He's fled to the west, to the other side. But here comes Mildred with unknown intent. Scott lies face down, blind to her descent. We'll save here. And it's probably a good time to, uh, to say goodnight to Silent Hill 2 for the moment. So, continuing on with Silent Hill 2 Remake, going through the apartments, uh, we met Mr. Head... And, uh, he was popping and locking, as he will do. Dragging women around. And, uh, we've gone into the next building. And a pretty significant difference in this one is that the, ne the second building becomes an otherworld area, where that really didn't happen in the first one. Um, so things have gotten rusted. Things have gotten even dirtier than they were before as we are in the other world apartments and James is just barely hanging on he's huffing and puffing he's limping and groaning and moaning uh, cause he needs to get more health drinks and more rusty needles to jab into him cause the combat is more intense a lot more intense than it was in the original game enemies much more aggressive uh, they can hit you from further away than you would think they close the distance real fast um, the gun... I, I think in the original Silent Hill 2, I didn't have to use the gun much. Or really do much combat. Uh, but if I had to do combat, melee would probably be fine. You don't, you know, you can save bullets. This one, not really. But if you want to save bullets and you want to go in with melee combat, you're probably gonna get hurt. Uh, I mean, they do have the dodge move, and it seems like the combo really is two melee attacks and then dodge because the enemy is going to counterattack at that point. So if you, if you can get that rhythm down, then you can do the melee combat, but uh, if more than one enemy shows up, it's a problem, and you kind of need to have the gun for that. So, we're continuing on with Silent Hill 2 Remake, uh, as James needs to find that Mary. Good, good memories of hanging out in Rosewater Park, the two of them just jabbing each other with needles that they found on the ground. It really was this special place. We'll be continuing on. <laughs> 